Good morning, ladies and gents. It's 11th of November, half past eight, or thereabouts, Sunday, and it is unseasonably warm. It says 11 degrees on the app on my telephone, but I think it's considerably warmer than that this morning. I've put a jacket on to walk around and I'm regretting it big time. And also, the Ford isn't as slippy as usual, which is a good thing. So more home improvements today. We'll be going back to the house in a short while to talk about a few things and show you the progress. But we've started to take down the little porch area that we've got at the side of the house. And uh, we have to make some applications to uh, build over, temporarily, a gas main, which is gonna have to be relocated, but we can't relocate it yet because we don't have the wall yet. And also um, build over permission for a sewer that runs power parallel to the side of the house. We're not building over it, but we still have to do a build over application apparently. So after we've walked the dogs and had some breakfast, then we'll get cracked on with it. I fancy eggs today. Oh, and look how misty it is. It's gorgeous, don't you think? Oh my goodness, so after this morning's walk, the time is now ten past three. Ah, I've got a bloody dog hair in my mouth. I'm enjoying a sweet Thatcher's, which is sweet to me anyway, because I need the sugar. So we've not really done a thing in the backyard today. That's as it was left. But through here, you'll notice that all the side of the porch is now gone. You see the neighbours through there. And you can also see the elevation change. See, that's their floor level there. So Gemma's just sweeping up after me, but we've dug five metres of trench into where the porch wall was. And obviously that wall is now going to extend up to be the new um, party wall, if you like. Uh, we've shuttered this section in temporarily. It's not going to be shuttered for the concrete pour, but just to prevent any unwanted cave-ins because as you can see from the base of the footings which there has to come out just a little bit you can see a step there maybe a hundred mil or so to the top of that board being 1200 it's four foot deep that side but the footings are going to be um, to the bottom of the footing 750 mil unless building control asks us to go any deeper which could happen so, the pipework that we exposed the other day, that's the gas main, and then next to it, I thought it was the electric cable coming in, but it turns out that that is the old gas main, because we found the electric cable here. I kind of suspected it would be coming from next door anyway, so that's one of the reasons why we've hand excavated all this. Plus it saves us on digger higher, and we've only got five meters left to go before we break through that back wall and into the end and also just that little section there just this two feet 600 mil of concrete to come out and then we've just got to grade all this off to 750 mil we'll pull this soak away pipe out because it won't be needed there we'll cap it off and then we'll probably attach back into it when we move the down pipes but chances are I'm going to have to excavate in the garden and put a new one in. I think that's going to have to happen regardless. So I might just leave that buried, dead and buried. So somebody said to me the other day in one of the comments that you can't build over a gas pipe anymore. And I've had a look into it and that's true. Not that I doubted uh, that in the first place. But... I mean, it leaves you in a bit of a predicament. What do you do? Because if we disconnect that gas pipe, then we've got no gas. 
until the walls are up and they can come and we've got to relocate the boiler and everything. So I'm going to speak to building control. I'd assume that we build over it temporarily and then as soon as the walls are up and the roof is on, we get Caden out and they install a new gas meter outside of the footprint. I don't see any other way of doing it, frankly, and every single builder I've seen on YouTube have just built straight over them. So we'll see what happens with that. But I don't think we can be left without gas. Uh, November going into December, January, because I don't think I'll have the roof on this side of 2022. So um, that's the plan anyway. We'll speak to building control about that. It won't be going through the footings. I think it'll be going through the brickwork, which is just, you know, the first course. So it should be all right if we just lintel over it temporarily. And then when we've got, um, when we're watertight, then we can get Caden out to to come and relocate it. I'd imagine it's going to cost us best part of 800 quid to do that, knowing them. But I've spray painted a little yellow mark on that path so we know where to find it. And that's all our services discovered. Gas, electricity, and then round the back. I don't know if I showed you where I've re-exposed it. Uh, that's our water pipe coming in. It's a copper pipe still. Not buried too deep really, is it? And then this is uh, basically the width of our footings, the width of the old inspection chamber. Well, that's it. So we've got to go now from that section there and just connect up to there, which is about approximately five metres, because this will be a 10 metre wall or thereabouts when it's finished. So there we go, ladies and gents. That's another little update on uh, our self build extension project. I think this is now video four. Cheers. Thatcher's dead. 100%. Oh no, it's Thatcher's gold. 4.8%. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one.